This is the world's best radio controlled motorbike. It actually is, isn't it, Andy? 100%. On here somewhere, it's got a button. When you hit it, it's got different wheelie modes. So one mode, it keeps the front down and keeps it stable. Another mode, you can wheel it for really long. Another mode, I'm not really sure about. So we're going to play about with that mode, see what it can do. Also over there, look, we've got a skate park. And over there, got a little river. So let's see what it can do. So controller's on, so now you plug him in, so that's the bike on, and then on here, look, it says flywheel. So you hit this. What that does, it keeps it stable. So Andy's gonna start that up, or try to anyway. Oh. Hey, look at that, that was easy. That's the Kyosho Nitro Tracker. Two-speed transmission, forward and reverse, and neutral. All right, let's go. Making a funny noise. Oh, second gear. So we hit this button here and it should make one beep. Right, one beep. So one beep, let's see what happens. Oh, it's us keeping the nose down. Uh-oh. Oh, he doesn't like leaves. So we've got water there. I want to see if we can make it through it. We're going to take a run up across that field so we can make it through there. <laughs> yes. Right, here we go. That's out. Straight through. So this mode here, he's trying not to wheelie. I can go flat out, he's not wheelieing. So now we hit this, two beeps. Probably can't hear it because Andy's making a noise over there. Ah, sorry mate. It's not much difference. He's still keeping the front end down. <laughs> now we hit it again. That is now three beeps. And now that should be wheelie mode. Oh, the noise has stopped. <laughs> oh. What? I was stripped. How? So that's what that noise was. It's got teeth missing completely. All right, anyway, this is now wheelie mode, I think. So he should wheelie. In a minute, we're going to take him over there to that skate park as well. Oh. Right, here we go. Oh, I don't think he's got the power to or the grip to wheelie at the minute. Too many leaves. Ah, yes. <laughs> let's get him over there. We got a bit more grip. All right, hopefully on here, we got more grip. Here's a little skate park. We're going to have a little play on in a minute. Hopefully, I'm hoping on one of those wheelie modes, we can get him to backflip. People have said to me in the comments, he can't do it. So in a minute, we're going to try it. Oh, anyway, we're still in wheelie mode number three. Here we go. Ah, in the face. I don't know if, if it's number three wheelie mode. Yes. It's not wheeling though. It's just, it's just cutting the power. So look, it's cutting the power. No, that's, well, that's mode three. Ah. Right, this is mode number one. We're learning here as we go along. We've not read the book. Right, so mode number one. Ah, in the face. Oh, we have, it's not getting the grip. Ah, oh, it must go over the top. It's supposed to stop it from doing that. No, it's too wet. It won't do it. Ah, oh, we have to find a different surface for wheeling. It, to wheelie, you need grip. So I want to see if we can backflip him. Let's go and line him up on a jump. We're going to try all the different modes on the jumps. I want to see if we can backflip. Right, mode one. Oh no, it cut out. Right, mode number two. No, he cuts out. Right, mode number three. No, it cuts out. Maybe you can't backflip him then. Backflip. No. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a jump. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's all right, he's alive. Takes a bit of practice. Tell you what, I want to have a go tuning the rear shock a little bit because when he jumps and lands, the rear end bounces and he tends to go off over tit. He's still cutting out. Every time you go up the ramp, he wants to cut out. Well, how do you make it not do that? So here, I'm going to hold it up in the air and just see what all the different modes do when you pitch the bike forward and backwards while the throttle is on. Right, mode one. <laughs> mode two. Right, and now mode three. That's the one most likely to let you, but it still doesn't. Oh, he did a burnout, wasn't he? 
<laughs> oh, you've done that, nice. So I don't think you can backflip this bike, even in wheelie mode that allows it to tilt back the furthest, I think it still doesn't allow it to fully rotate. It just cuts to power. If you guys know how to do it, let me know in the comments. Oh. <laughs> he needs more space. He needs a bit more skill. By the way, one of you guys can win that bike in the competition that I've set up. So I'm going to put a link to that competition down below. Is he? Is he broken? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's broke there. I'm sure Jason Redfin's got those in stock. All right, well, let's go and have a look. Also, I've got a few upgrades coming from Trill. So we're gonna, and we're gonna success one. Let's see how fast we can make it go. I wanna make one go at least 70 mile an hour. Hey, Jason in the house. I broke my motorbike. Oh no. Have you got spares? I have got some spares. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got all the parts apart from... The part that we need. Sorry. But anyway, if any of you guys come into Redfin Models, look, he's got these motorbikes in here. So here's a blue one. I've got a blue one coming as well. Still waiting for it. So here's a little snippet from a live stream we did the other day of how well the bike can wheelie in dry conditions. The floor today was just too wet. The wheel couldn't get any grip. It can't wheelie. When the wheel can get grip, it will is epically. So I should have probably looked at the instruction manual before playing with this bike. But anyway, here we go. So mode number one is meant for driving on grass and suppresses wheelies. Mode number two is supposed to be for on-road, also suppresses wheelies. I'm not really sure what the difference is. And then mode three allows the bike to go up into a wheelie and pull wheelies. So I've ordered some parts. However, the part that I need has not showed up but anyway in a future video i do want to make one of these 6s live posts so i've got this castle mamba x system here now inside here it's got a gyro so that's this motor here and apparently this can only take 2s so i've got a spare one here just in case it doesn't if i melt it i can put this one in and then someone in the comments said i should get one of these because then i can run this on 6s live pose and then this a beck He's going to put the voltage down for the gyro to not burn that out. I want to try and make him go at least 70 mile an hour. That's the challenge. Also, Trill Hobby make all these aluminium parts for these motorbikes. So if you click on these parts, they do them all in different colours. So I'm going to build a bike with all the green parts. So we can have green swing arms, green chassis parts. Now you can win this one here and this one here is going to be stock. Alternatively, if this one gets too beat up for you, you can choose to have a brand spanking new one. And then all this stuff here is going to go on a different bike in a different video. So it's been another day and look, Postman's turned up. Check this out. All these parts here have just turned up. They're all green to match that green bike. Man, this bike is going to be absolutely epic. Well, not this one. I'm going to put all this onto a brand new one. So do that so that you don't miss it. And subscribing's free, so why would you not? Um.